we do see a lot of patients who smoke and some of them are singers and voice professionals and they want to quit, they just haven't been able to yet. Um, some of them will tell us that they've always had a hoarse voice but then they'll, they'll have a change. Uh, and many times in women it's a deepening of the voice and in men sometimes it's just a raspiness. Um, some of the common things that we'll find in those patients, uh, one is, is something called polypoid corditis, uh, or smoker's polyps is what it's called. And it's not really clear yet, based on the studies that we have, whether that represents an increased risk of cancer or not. So a lot of times we'll follow those patients uh, every year or so um, if we find, if we, if we perform a scope in the office and we find that they have smoker's polyps. One of the more concerning things that we'll see in smokers who have voice changes uh, is something called leukoplakia. And that means a little white patch on the vocal cords that sometimes is a precancerous condition. The bad news is that it could be precancerous, but the good news is that if you catch that early, um, it's very treatable and um, we almost, uh, we, we very often can, can biopsy that or treat it with a laser and get rid of it long before it turns into a cancer. We're always more careful with our patients who are still smoking uh, to make sure that, that they don't have vocal cord changes that could represent a precancer. cancer